Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie, and today I have a three looks, one palette, oh, and I'm so excited. Uh, I, I, I couldn't pass up on this palette, you guys. Um, right in time for Valentine's Day, and did I need another Valentine's Day palette? No, but this color story is phenomenal. <laughs> If you don't know already, this is their Verona palette. It is their newest palette. It is a love and death um, vibe for sure uh, with these beautiful Valentine's Day shades, but then those shades that, oh my god, that I just absolutely adore. And honestly, I really wanted to dip into this, this side of the palette today. I really did. But know what I've been filming some romance content um, book wise so I kind of wanted to fit that vibe today and look like all cutesy in my pink that honestly is like so close to my skin color but you guys I am wearing a shirt <laughs> um, and then I even I went all out today you guys I even have my ex and O earrings and you know ghost face in the background because we have to we have to level it out a little bit <laughs> make it even <laughs> but I'm obsessed with this palette already um I've only done this one look and I'm I love it this palette has 18 shades honestly to me it's like two individual palettes um and they're just being combined into one. Um, I don't know if they've ever done this style before. I personally have never seen a Nomad palette that opens like this, but I think it is really, really cool. And of course, like always, packaging, 10 out of 10. Um, campaign, the way they do everything is just so, so beautiful. I don't have the postcard right next to me, but you guys, again, they just killed it with the delivery of getting the postcard that goes with it because like I've mentioned before, I recently did my Hudson Valley palette from Nomad. Um, I did three looks with it too. If you want to check it out, I'll link it up above, but I've done a couple of different I've actually done a few different videos with different palettes of theirs now. Um, so I've become more accustomed, I guess, to the brand and they are one of my favorites. They are so good. The formula is amazing. The mattes are always so pigmented but blend like a dream. And the metallics are... I mean, do I have to say anything? They, they are incredible. But it is a traveling brand. They travel around and... Uh, create collections off that and there is that Romeo Juliet vibe going on with this that is so cool and they did such a good job once again. The indentions, maybe one of these days I will get that term correct, like it's the stamps that are in the pans. Um, I love that on like the pink and red side we have like some, you know, it looks like a sunset, there's like a, a quill and ink. Um, there is a like a masquerade mask, there's a rose, a heart, um, so, so pretty. But then on the darker side, we have like daggers and the moon and a bottle of poison and a skull and a broken heart and, you know, it looks like a flame going up. Um, so, so cool. Absolutely love it. So packaging wise, story-wise, theme-wise, everything, 10 out of 10. They absolutely nailed it, and I really was keeping my eye open. I was seeing the sneak peeks, and I was like, I'm keeping my eye open for this palette, and I'm, I'm blown away. And I just have to say, launch day for this went by, like, I was waiting. I was there waiting for this, but launch day so, like, just went by seamlessly. Like, there was no hitch in the whole being able to get your hands on one or, you know, the website crashing or anything like that. It was very seamless. I really appreciated that. And also shipping. I think this is the fastest I've ever gotten like a launch before. It was very fast. So I am so excited that I'm able to turn around and do a three looks with this. Now I do have some other palettes lined up that I have 
talked about in recent videos here and there. Um, I still have my Glam Light Scooby Doo palettes that I really want to play with on the channel. Um, and I also have some from Unearthly Cosmetics as well. Um, so I do plan to bring them. I just kind of wanted to push this one a little bit forward because of Valentine's Day and it's just like the perfect time for looks like this um, and for this color story and the the vibe but also the fact that I know that this palette is maybe still in stock I'm not a hundred percent sure but I'm sure we'll also have a restock if it's not where I haven't really heard much about I haven't really heard much about the glam light situation if they still have Scooby Doo stuff but um, I do know for a fact that Unearthly Cosmetics, they have said that they are not bringing back the palettes that I have. So I'm like, hmm, would you guys still want to see looks with them? Because uh, it's a little frustrating that you can't get your hands on them, but they are stunning. So I'm like, hmm, I may still film with them soon. But anyways, today is three looks with the Nomad palette, and I am so excited to continue to play with this. This is the first look today, so we're going to jump into it and then stay tuned because I will have two more looks after this one. You guys will have to let me know what you think and pick out your favorite and comment it down below. So first I went into Paradise, which is a matte light pink shade, and I've actually done this recently too, but I think it's just something I'm loving right now. I love the flirty vibe of this as a transition, so that's exactly how I used it. Then I went into Rose, which is a darker matte pink, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, almost the start of the show before the metallics came in. I blended this into my outer corner and crease and really built up the pigment. Then I went into Romeo, this beautiful, like, hot pink metallic. Absolutely stunning. And I put this all over the lid and kind of flared it up a little bit, um, but I based a lot of the pigment on the actual lid versus, like, the crease area, but I did bring it up because, you know, hooded lids. It's going to transfer. Um, for the very, very inner corner, I did the metallic Cupid, which is a light pink purple. It kind of has like a purple shift to it, you guys. But I used that and just kind of flared it up also in that inner corner just to highlight it even more. I even took a little bit of this on the brow bone, but I, with a brush, there's not a whole lot of payoff um, as if to like with, with your finger. When you go in with your finger with these metallics, absolutely like jaw dropping. They're so beautiful. Finish up the face, then I came back and took Quill um, and kind of wanting to play up the whole X's and O vibes of being red and pink, I took this on my lower lash line and kind of flared it out like a reverse cat eye, um, just not too, too harsh. Um, hopefully it picks up okay on camera because I feel like looking at it, it doesn't look as red on because it's so close to all those pinks, but it does kind of give a little bit of like a different dimension to the look that I'm here for and really, really liking. So yeah, I absolutely love how it turned out, but definitely these pinks and red shade are beautiful. Their mattes are incredible, but oh my God, these metallics beautiful. For the second look, I had to go into the death dark side of the palette. I actually wanted to for the first look, but again, I had like Valentine's, you know, things that I was doing. So I was like, oh, I'm going to make it a little bit more pink and, you know, flirty on Valentine aesthetic. Um, but today's look, I would rock for Valentine's Day. I think it's like pretty badass. I think it's really pretty purple and um, I got a little carried away. I just kept on going with the shades, you guys. So I first started with Dagger, which is kind of like a mauve purple. Um, it's actually a lot darker built it like built up in pigment, but I took this in my outer corner and blended it into my crease um, before taking Tragedy, which is the metallic purple all over the lid. And I was like, 
okay I'm just like repeating yesterday's look but you know what these shades are so so incredible and just the colors everything the metallics the way that they shift like you don't have to try really hard with this palette to have like a unique look like it gives you the unique look it's so so pretty I did take a little bit of morse I I maybe saying that wrong, um, in the inner corner with a brush, and it didn't really give a whole lot of payoff. So I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup on my face, came back to the look, and I took Dark, which is a matte purple. It's like, it looks darker than the first shade Daggers that I took and the pan, but honestly, like, I feel like they're pretty similar in, like, that depth, so it is a darker purple whenever it's applied, but it's more of, like, instead of being so muted, it's a little bit more vibrant of a purple. So, so pretty. I put it all along the lower lash line, and then with my pinky, I went into the same, like, metallic green shade so that I could really pop it in the inner corner, and it just took the look from just, like, I guess like the basic way I would do my eye look to just like the next level with the green too. I absolutely love it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. This look is insane with these shades. I can't get over this palette. I am really, really excited to dip back into it. Um, I have more Valentine stuff that I really want to film and have some different looks in mind, but at the same time, I'm like, I kind of want to mix sides too, so I don't know. We'll see what I do for the last look, but I am pretty impressed so far. I'm going to do my final thoughts after my third look, but um, so far, I'm loving it. There is a few different things that I've noticed so far with playing with it, but um, honestly, nothing that's really bothered me so far. Um, I'm loving how the looks are turning out. Yeah, this is the second look. Also obsessed with my new clay earrings. These are the broken heart ones. So you have half a heart over here, half a heart over here. I don't mind the AirPod. I'm listening to an audiobook. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were just perfect for playing with the dark death side of the palette. But yeah. I have to say I've been really stumped with lip shades or lip choices lately. I've been really struggling with it and I don't know why, but I just have the need to switch up my lip shade every single day, which is good because I have a big collection of lip products, but it also sometimes leaves me stumped and like today I'm like, I want a black lip or I want like a really, really dark lip. But I'm like, Allie, draw it, draw it in a little bit, <laughs> you know? Um, I told myself I was going to do more like flirty looks, but I feel like this is a good balance. I tried. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites. It's from Black Moon Cosmetics. It's their liquid lipstick in the shade Haunting, and I'm obsessed. I love it. It pairs so well with this while not taking away too much from the eye. They balance each other out in a way almost too to where it doesn't, the eye doesn't feel so overwhelming, but yeah, it's still the star of the show. For sure, that shade is. I don't know. I think I like this look this is more my vibe than yesterday's look, but stay tuned for look three. And for the third and final look of this video using the Verona palette, I ended up sticking mainly with the life side of the palette because it is currently Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. I'm hoping this video is actually up today for you guys this afternoon fingers crossed, um, but if not, happy belated Valentine's Day, and hopefully you can still be inspired by these three Valentine's looks, but I stuck with the love side because I didn't want to go too dark. I am going to two different school Valentine's Day parties today. <laughs> so my outfit is super casual. I didn't want my makeup to be like too like oh, you know, in your face or too sultry, you know. Um, the cool thing about this is I could definitely take some of these dark shades like the black or the navy on the lower lash line, smoke it out to make it like day to night. Um, but let's get into how I created this last look. So I first started with Paradise once again, that light matte pink, so beautiful and flirty in the crease as a transition. I absolutely love it so much. Um, it is a new favorite for sure. Then I started in with the Comedy shade, which is a metallic, um, kind of like an orange-red. 
I feel like once again it's been paired with so many pinks that it looks more pink but I use this to start really carving out that outer corner and flaring it out I really love this like wing effect I have going on with that shade a lot and then I took it into the crease I also smudged it along the lash line as well so it's just like a full-on you know winged moment going all the way in um and then in the middle to fill it all in i took cupid the metallic light pink purple almost there's like a little purple shift as well um that i used in the first look in the center and i absolutely love it it's like creative but like not too much you know um but i ended up leaving the lower lash line just with nothing um, put on some mascara and the rest of my makeup. Here I am, the final look. Um, I really love how it turned out though. Like I, like I said, I feel like it's definitely flirty Valentine's Day vibes, but at the same time, I feel like it's not like too in your face or too much of a look, you know? I think it's really cute. I love how it turned out. We'll have to let me know which look is your favorite. Leave it down below in the comments. I am like in love with the second look still. Like I love the first look. I love this look. I feel like they're very um cute for valentine's day but that second look i would rock all the time i absolutely loved it so much and i can't wait to keep playing with this palette and doing some more looks ah oh, stay tuned for a blog it'll be coming soon for sure but i'm obsessed this is so so beautiful i love it so much and um yeah let me know if you guys picked up this palette and um what are your favorite shades from it or have you tried Nomad at all? Am I starting to, you know, persuade you into trying Nomad for the first time? Ugh, I love them so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the three looks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And again, happy Valentine's Day. I will see you in my next video.